<laughs> so maybe that one more blue collar, this one more white collar. Oh, oh shit. no, 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 let's no, not, no, let's no, not go there. <laughs> Okay, welcome to a special episode of Yummy. It's our very first most ambitious crossover event of <laughs> Yummy Answers and Yummy Places. Yep. We've eaten so many things from so many places and I guess it is time to find out the one big question. What is the best of the best? We have here three of Singapore's favourite Cha Kway Tiao spots. We are going to start with the Outram Park Fried Kway Tiao over at Hong Lim. This one, I'm quite excited because usually, right, there's a super duper long queue. I remember queuing once. It took me 45 minutes just to order. Wow! Mm. Then my lunchtime gone ready. Well, it's great that we can just do delivery now. Yay. But thank you, delivery <laughs> men, women. Thank you guys for all your hard work. Kway Tiao fun fact. The name Cha Kway Tiao has a Hokkien sounding name, but it actually originated from Chaozhou, China, in the Guangdong region. I'm guessing maybe because they have abundance of hum and all these rice noodles or whatever. Exactly, sorry, what he was saying, like he was telling you guys the fun fact, right? I found a really big hum, right? Whoa. So I was like really excited about it. <laughs> wow, that's a very big hum, like, also. Yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> smell it first. I Whoa. can immediately smell the la jiao, the chili. No, for me it's the pork lard. Oh, is it? Oh, the pork lard. Mm. Taste is very cow in this. Yes. Mm. Very fragrant. Mm. Oh my god, I just bite into the pork lard. Mm. Did it? Wow. The crunch, right? Wow. Mm. I mean, that's why like you want to do this kind of dishes, you cannot skim from pork lard. Mm. And even though the chili smells so spicy, right? It doesn't, it's not that spicy. Very small little bits of uh, scrambled egg evenly mixed with every bite. I feel that maybe I can do a little bit more dark sauce. Mm. Next, we have Henki Cockles Kwe <laughs> Henki Cockles Kwe Tiao from Amokyo. So right off the bat, it looks more... It looks very neat. Mm. I know every individual strand you can see. Yes, and it's rather glossy actually. Yeah. Actually, as I was eating the first one, I noticed the kway teow is a little bit brittle. Yeah. Like it's all like, all chopped up into little bits already. Mm -hmm. It's just slightly more messy looking. Okay. That's all. <gasps> it has lap chong. It has lap chong. Ah. Hey, now that you oh, mentioned it. we don't have lap chong on the, in the previous one. Yeah. Cha kway teow fun fact number two. Cha kway teow used to be considered the working man's uh, food in the past. Because of the high fat content in the noodles, it provides your fishermen, your coolie, the you. energy they need to power through. Hum over here, finally. Oh wow, the hum actually looks very, very fresh. Eh? It looks very pink. Yes, okay. my kind of hum. I yeah, don't yeah. like mine super cool. It's sweeter. Possibly because of the lap chong. Mm -hmm. And you get a bit more tau gay taste. Oh, I love the tau gay taste. The lardiness is not there. Mm. More hua. And I appreciate this texture. I like this texture more, but I like that taste more. Oh, the cockles. The cockles, wow. Okay, yeah, wait, wait. So good. I haven't tried cockles, so I'm gonna go for it. No, yeah, I mean, this is really good. <laughs> this is it. That's why it's called. Hanky Cockle Quick Yeah. You still get a bit of the taste of the ocean from the hum. Oh, yeah, the hum is really good here. There's no more hum now, hello. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice and chewy, mm. almost crunchy. Yeah, that's but it. it's not like crunchy like apple like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Somehow this feels lighter for me. Maybe because of the bean sprout. The first one tasted more, um, like saltier, heavier. Like if you're super hungry, that's what you go for. This one, all its different flavors are very separate. Mm. You can appreciate each element on its own. Mm. Oh, it's so different. Mm. It's strange because when you look at Cha Kway Tiao, they all look kind of similar. But it's interesting how different the taste can be. Mm. Third one, which is the one that we got on our own. This is from the particular post where an old man was sitting forlornly in front of his store. And then he blew up and then suddenly there's a long queue for his fried Kway Tiao. Mm. Just so happened, it's really, really near our office. So, we went out to Tapau. So this one looks a lot more whiter as compared to the other two. Yeah. Looks a lot more lighter. S supposedly, um, the Gao Zao Bi, which, is, which means... Traditional taste. Oh yeah, interesting to note, uh, this 
cha kway teow is the only one that came with lime. Lime wow. obviously helps to cut down on like the oiliness of cha kway teow and stuff like that. Uh, cha kway teow fun fact. There are a lot of like myths and legends on like cha kway teow, all the ingredients that used to be added. I've heard so many variations. Some include adding a ground up of them. The cockles also look a little bit on the orangey side. Mm, and quite generous with the cockles yes. there. After having the other two, right? Right. This slightly loses out on flavour. But what I can taste from it is feels like something your old your grandparents will make you. Mm. Which is the nice part about the chocolate gel. It tastes healthier. Mm. Especially if you just had two of the titans over there. Mm. I always like the addition of lime to chakwe teow. I see a lot of lime with Hokkien Mee. I don't really see lime with chakwe teow. Okay, bringing everything back so mm. that we can have quick taste tests. The first one got a lot more harm eh. But I don't want quantity, I want quality. Immediately tasting all three again one more time. Mm. This one has a heavier flavouring. Mm. Stronger tasting mm. and a bit smokier. Because of the wok hay, the the, wok hay is stronger. and the pork lard mm. and everything. This one is very nicely balanced. I still love the presentation, it looks so appetizing. Yeah, it actually looks the nicest when you put it all three of them together, right? And uh, this is from a further location, this is Amokyo. Oh yeah. And you know in this day and age, we like to eat with our eyes also. Mm. Or rather let the camera eat. This is really near our office and I remember going there to eat. And I remember it being darker in colour. So what I remember was just that there's this traditional taste and it tasted a lot better. Mm. But it still tastes good. My ranking still stands. I still go this one, two, three. Steph's ranking is one, two, three. Taste is subjective. This is just our own opinions of the dishes. Mm -hmm. If you want to try them out yourselves, we actually have another list of the top 10 rated cha kway teow based on our friend's uh, review system at Foodpanda. You can find out for yourself from that top 10, which is your favourite. Maybe you can tell us by then. Lah. Yeah, and this is not we say one. Mm. This is hundreds of people who have ordered through their system say one. Alright, until then, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I feel that if one and two can combine together, it's perfect. The very brittle bits all fill the gaps of the <laughs> larger strands. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got best of both worlds. Huh? It's a very confused taste. You try? Is it? It tasted better in my head. Yeah.